Hello and welcome to Talking with Chaz. It's this sort of like talk show where I'm going to talk about life, things that are happening in the world. You know, some things might make you laugh, might make you go, hmm, that's interesting, oh, I don't mind. It's just here to entertain, really. Me and my friend Tom, that's Tom who's working the camera, um, we decided to make this because we're basically bored and we've got nothing to do at the moment. Hopefully we could make a series out of it if it's liked and rated. So please comment because, you know, your comments could go on the next episode if we decide to make one. So yeah, it should, should hopefully be good. Anyway, we've got some funny news. Uh, recently in Russia, there was a flying cock. Yes, a flying cock that, was, uh, that disturbed the Russian president making a speech at a speech rally. Um, the remote control flying cock was brought down by two attempts of some Russians. So, some Russians running around slapping some cock for a while. You know, say what you think, I think Russians running around trying to slap down remote control cock is rather funny, but it's at the side here, in the description. Somewhere here there should be a link. And it takes you there, it's quite funny, just bear with the buffering, it's cool. Basically, weirdo of the week, this week, <laughs> it's quite funny, some guy decided to post all his crimes that he's done on YouTube. So all his shoplifting, all his hot wiring that he actually recorded himself was put on YouTube and he was recently arrested. Don't think he's too bright, but you just got to say he's in the world just to make you laugh because it made me laugh when I read it. So just tip for those shoplifters out there, either don't shoplift or try not to post your crimes on YouTube. Good tip there. As for local news, um, in Southampton in England today, a white blackbird was seen. Yes, a white blackbird. That's how interesting it gets over here in England down south. How thrilling is that? I bet there's like car chases going on around the world. Not that car chases are good, you know, they might end up in accidents, which is very bad, but it's a little bit more thrilling to know that there's a car chase happening in the air rather than like a white blackbird. It's kind of stupid. Anyway, just something to think about right now. Why do we always use our hands when we talk? You know, I don't really understand it. See, I'm, not, I'm doing it now. It just happened. It's one of those things that you just can't help. Yeah, I've stopped. You see, it's just, it's stupid. Here's an example. You're at a bar or something, right? Hey, do you want a drink? What? Do you want a drink? What? I can't, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Drink? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have a drink, I'll have a beer. Yeah, I'll have a beer. You see what I mean? It's like, what does that do? Is that some kind of special code to know, oh yeah, it's definitely a drink. It's also funny when you say you go on a holiday, like you go, um, oh, we go on holiday this year, oh, Spain. Whoa, he's got a good sense of direction, I don't even know Spain was that direction. How many miles away is it? But he can't tell that with his hands, can he? Oh, 200. Good one. Anyway, I don't know why people use their hands, but it's just one of those things that goes on. See, I'm doing it right now and I just can't help it. Forgive me. Anyway, as for the weather in the world today, it might be sunny, it might be cloudy, it even could be raining. We don't know because we can't predict the weather. It's just one of those things, you know. They do well-rounded stuff, don't they? They cover every aspect, like on the weather around there, we could say sunny spells or scattered showers. Now that is sitting on the fence. If I've seen anything, oh my god, I can't actually think. They're like the Lib Dems, aren't they, over in England? You know, if you can't vote between Conservatives or Labour, vote for the Lib Dems. They're the sitting on the fence party, just like the weather channel. Anyway, some food for thought, some interesting things you got this week. Advice for slimmers. Now, if you like that devilish temptation to go to the fridge or the cupboard and get the chocolate bar, here's some advice. Don't buy the bloody thing in the first place. If you're trying to go slim, why buy a chocolate bar? It, it's crazy. Anyway, if, you want, if you're getting in the argument, you know, with the missus about lifting up the toilet seat, hey, it's a man thing, just piss in the sink, it's so much simpler. Think about it, you don't have to lift it up, and also it's an easy flush. Flip with the handle, down it goes. Perfect. As for buying binoculars, bird watchers don't buy expensive binoculars, just stand up close the way you want to look at. It's quite easy that way, it saves you paying like a hundred quid just to see from like a hundred miles away. And as for going for a poo at work, or a dump as some people call it, it's better to do it at work, because, you know, you save money on toilet paper and get paid to do it. Now, here's the question that might get you all. Why do you press harder on the remote when you know the battery is dead? Yeah, I'm guessing some people are now thinking, I do that. So, right, I do it too, I don't know why, I don't know why pressing 
the on button harder will actually make it go on. Some people even bash the remote. What, the battery's going to have some kind of spark of light now? Life now, because you bash the remote and it's the setting. I don't know, but that's pretty much it for today. It might be funnier next week. Please tune in again. It should be out every Saturday. It'll be good. See you then.